Okay, so Naughty Dog have not had a good year. Uh, well, at least a good couple of years after the... <coughs> <laughs> But I'm not going to be here bashing The Last of Us Part 2. That kind of seems like the trend that was going around. I'm not sure if it's still happening. But I'm not here to do that. I'm here to talk about this new Last of Us remake. You know, if you can't really see my fingers, I'm doing like the biggest bunny ears. The quotation marks right now. Remake. Now listen, I love the first game as much as any other guy. I love the gameplay, the acting. Uh, I love everything. It's all it's very cool. But this is as much as a remake as I am suddenly five foot nine and as thin as a frickle stick. That it just isn't true. It's not a remake. It's them after the failure, the floppage of The Last of Us Part 2, realizing, oh shit, well we kinda we kinda buried ourselves in the ground here, six feet under, you know, we we had the shovel, we legit put the dirt on ourselves as the coffin was going into the ground. And now they realize that they need to get that reputation back, but they're not going to do it in like any real creative way, because, you know, why would they? They're going to do it in the most lazy and just uninspired way possible by remaking a classic game that has their trademark on it. This is like the first game I've ever came into contact with that's had free remasterings because this is that's that's what it is it's a remastering it's not a remake a remake is when you change something from the original when you change the entire story well not the entire story but you get what i mean you have to change something in order for it to be a remake it has to be a big change it can't just be like a few scenes like you change a few lines and that's about it that's not what a remake is guys come on like what happened naughty dog was was fucking killing the scene not only uh, not, not even five years ago they had Games like Uncharted 4, they had The Last of Us, they had a few more I can't really remember, legit all I've ever played is Uncharted and The Last of Us. But, you know, they were still doing a lot of really good stuff, they were, you know, they were the big kids on the block, you know, along with, I don't know, some companies, uh, you had Rockstar, they were doing a lot of good stuff, they were making tremendous strides, you had God of War, the devs were God of War, and, you know, now, they're, they're kind of taking a knee. Like, I'm excited for this game and all, but I'm going to be having it in the back of my head that this is only being made because they're trying to get a bit, a bit of that good reputation back that they got from this game in the first place. And that's about it. Like, I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade here. I don't want to be, you know, shitting in their breakfast by complaining about this because, you know, I, I don't think that would be very productive. I'm just saying this seems... It seems awfully sketchy that they're coming out with this directly after the heat they received for The Last of Us Part 2. Not directly, but it's very fucking close. Like, how that... This is like... It's like a year gap, at least. A couple of years. And... Yeah. Surely, if they were confident in what they did in The Last of Us Part 2, which Neil Druckmann has clearly stated he is, along with the rest of the cast, who seem oblivious to how bad the game actually is... It just seems like all of these people behind the scenes, if they were really confident in The Last of Us Part 2, they wouldn't be making this because it already had a remastering. I don't get why you need another one. Like, come on, make another game. Make some more. Like, redeem yourselves, guys. Why, why you gotta be living in the past like this? Ah, my lord. You're just gonna be rehashing the same stories, the same acting. It's not like you're gonna be getting them all back and having them redo their lines. At least if they did that, then it would be somewhat, you know, I would kind of respect it a bit more because you're actually trying to remake it. You're not just animating over the pre-recorded lines that the actors already delivered in, and it's just the same delivery. It's the same story. That We're all going to feel the same emotions as, as we did in the first one. The only difference now is that, okay, graphics, good. Legit, that's all this brings to the table. Better graphics, and that's it. There's nothing, there's no allure to it. I don't want to buy it, because one, they're charging full fucking price. I'm not paying the same amount of money I paid for the original Last of Us just to play it with better graphics. Come on, like you, you can cut that down a bit. Yeah, that's my uh, reaction to the trailer. As you can tell, I am less than impressed. I... You know, a lot of people, they're going to go gaga over this, you know, they're going to have saliva dripping from their mouths, you know, they're going to be uh, quenching their ass cheeks just at the sight of this. 
But I'm not. I'm not. I see something like this. I, see, I feel the same way I do about the Disney remakes. It's like, why? You know? Like, why remake something that is so perfect to begin with? If this is actually a remake, then... Okay, that question of if it's a remaster or a remake kind of goes out the window, because now I'm wondering why would you remake this? You don't need to. It's just a remaster. That's all this is. They're, they're clickbaiting people by saying it's a, it's a remake, when it's clearly not. Legit, every, every scene in this trailer is from the game. There's nothing that's different. There's nothing that promises anything different. And to me, that's no, that's no better than clickbait. That's no better than mani manipulating your audience into believing that there's actually something worth playing. Because if I wanted to play The Last of Us, I'll just play the disc version I've already got hanging up in my shelf right now. I'm looking, I'm pointing at it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let me know if you think this was an alright first review. Because uh, that's what this is. My first ever review. I wanted to start doing them for a while. Uh, if you don't like it, tell me why. I have a feeling a lot of people won't agree. But, you know, that's what YouTube is for. To civilly discuss different opinions. Keep those chips on the table. And I'll see you in the ace high.